Farmers are not easily impressed by claims about anything, so when big claims were made for the powers of magnetised water, sceptical might be an understatement. Then they tried it. Frank Pangello reports. Look at these beautiful big strawberries grown with the magic water and they taste beautiful as well. We're getting better quality fruit, getting bigger yields and you're saving water. You can't beat that. Could this be the answer to the nation's water crisis and the salvation of our parched and shriveling gardens? Farmers will love it, absolutely love it, they do. Environmentalists will love this technology. Industrialists, all those people looking to reduce carbon emissions will love it. Therefore, government will love it. And even people at home will love this technology. The technology is ever so simple, treating water with powerful magnets. Farmers across Australia are raving about the results. What Superb. do you think of that? Superb. They are beautiful, aren't they? And yeah. thanks to using that water. Yeah, it is. And without that, I don't think we'd have this. We've never had them like this before, so... Mm. What's more, it also has scientists excited. But more about that shortly. First, the hands-on experience of those using it. When you first heard about it, were you a bit sceptical? Very sceptical. We always thought that, you know, put it in, see what happens, it probably won't work. Uh, eight weeks later, we're just blown away. Chances are you've probably enjoyed Jim Rapepi's strawberries. ASD is the biggest supplier in the country. Jim's been using magnetic water on his farms in Victoria for almost a year. This block's always been our driest block. Uh, we've always had a lot of trouble getting the moisture into the, um, into the soil. And we, uh, we put the magnetic water system through and uh, within six weeks we found that the, water, the block was actually a lot, lot more wetter than the rest of the blocks and we actually had to back off uh, watering. So you save water? Oh, definitely. We save between 25-30%. The water is pumped through magnets fixed inside this pipe, but it's what's coming out at the other end that has growers like Jim scratching their head in amazement. Do you use it just on the farm? You use it in the home as well? Yeah, yeah. We actually got uh, magnets for the for our own, own use in the house. Uh, it's healthy. Yeah, you have a shower. Uh, my wife's noticed noticed the difference even in their washing. She's using less soap. Water. Griffith Citrus and Grape Grower John Violi's computerised irrigation system has given him an accurate comparison of his water use before and after installing the magnetic system. We've noticed much better overall plant vigour, much better plant health. We've seen bunch weights now reaching harvest uh, going, you know, 40 to 50 per cent heavier than they were last year. It, it's quite evident that the technology works. And just up the road, Randy Amaro, Australia's largest rock melon supplier, has picked an incredible 30,000 more melons on this 20 hectare patch using magnetised water, compared with another field nearby using regular irrigation water. At first I thought it was a lot of bull, but the proof's in the melons. We're getting more melons. Very surprising though. Now, the quality of the melons, everything was up above the crop beside it. And it was very good. Ingrid Postima from Omni Water for Life, which distributes the patented systems, says the molecular structure of water changes as it travels through the magnetic fields. Many, many farmers that have implemented the systems have already had such significant benefits. They've paid for their systems many times over. Ingrid's company has been installing the system for farmers to try out before they buy them. One like this would cost around $10,000 and last up to 15 years. There are also smaller pipe fittings for home use, costing a few hundred dollars. Would have costed us around the uh, ten thousand dollar mark, but you, you get it back overnight. It's just incredible. Yeah, yeah. You could. You well, we bought thirty percent more water for ten thousand dollars. As for the scientific evidence, a controlled trial using magnetic water on various plants has just been completed at the University of Western Sydney. They seem to confirm what the farmers have been reporting including crop yields increasing up to 23%, boosting growth in some plants while using less water. The scientific research proves that it's true and how and why it's true and it works. And that has been supported by controlled trials um, by our farmers in the field. The results are still to be formally published, 
But the researchers suggest that based on their findings, further testing on a larger scale should be done. Frank Pangello reporting. Still ahead, your local weather outlook for tomorrow and exposing the great the vital red... vital commodity to the world's farmers has always been the source of life itself, water. We continue to study this crucial resource and we now know more about water at the molecular level. As they naturally occur, water molecules group together in clusters, many of which are too large to pass through the cell membranes of plants or animals. Through a magnetic process, we can now enhance water to make it more accessible to the cells of growing things and less accommodating to toxins and waterborne diseases. Most water doesn't deliver enough minerals and oxygen to the plants. The oversized water molecule clusters and makes water hard and less efficient. This negatively affects the health of plants, animals, and people, as well as industries that use water for heating, cooling, sterilization, and washdown systems. Through a process called hydrodynamic magnetic resonance, water can actually be made more productive. Our area of expertise deals with the little understood science of magnetics, more specifically applying the right magnetic resonance on water to make it more productive, more soluble, and more dissolvable. This technology is perfect for today's world, where we have to be able to do more with less. This magnetized water is more effective in delivering oxygen and nutrients while flushing away toxins from the cells. The system has been proven in the field and in tests to cleanse irrigation pipes from calcium and mineral deposits. Its value to living organisms is now being understood on a broader scale. If you go to bake a cake, you have to have a lot of ingredients and you got to put them together in the right order. And if you don't, you don't get the results you might expect. The same happens with farming. If you don't have all the right ingredients and put them all together in the right order, you don't have a good results. And this Omni machine is one of those little ingredients that makes a big difference in the end. As an organic farmer, Omni systems have helped twofold. Because the water molecules are properly aligned, it creates soft water, which means that the water molecule is much more permeable in the soil. Two, nutrients are much more available which increases the vitality and strength of the plant and its overall appearance and sheen are much more vital. You can see the plant is much more alive with Omni systems being used. With a smaller, more uniform molecular structure, magnetically treated water flows more easily than raw water. This reduces the mechanical and energy requirements for irrigating a farm. Farmers have reported dramatic increases using the Omni system. Over 100 more boxes of corn per acre, 609 more melons per acre, 21% increase in broccoli, 24% increase in lettuce. We're seeing pistachio trees with larger, healthier clusters of fruit. We're getting much better seed germination. All of this using less water. Water that works harder. Magnetized water washes away three to four times more of the salt typically found in soil. It carries fewer pathogens as well, promoting the health of crops, herds, and people. The technology has shown significant increases in yield, great responses to the resources the plant requires from the soil, nutrients, food, and water. The quality of the water has certainly proposed a healthier plant and a healthier and better quality product for both the grower and the consumer. We make water more productive, more soluble and dissolvable, while reducing environmental impact and lowering overall costs. This offers more plant for less water, and more importantly, better health with less water. Eureka, a program celebrating the university's role in searching for solutions to the problems of today and tomorrow. If you're like most people, your only use of magnets consists of placing them on the refrigerator door. But as we hear from Erica Engelson, scientists are cultivating new uses for the world's most powerful magnets. Imagine if your plants and vegetables could germinate twice as fast as they do now. This could soon become reality, thanks to the research of Florida State engineering professor, Dr. Ching Jen Chen, who has been conducting research to determine the effects of powerful magnets on plant life. Chen has been working with magnets for the past four years, 
and has found that they dramatically affect the speed of plant growth. Chen and his colleagues conduct their research at the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, the only user facility of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. The laboratory develops and provides a variety of research magnets at the highest fields available in the world. Using a 1.5 Tesla magnet, which is 30,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field, Chen exposed plant and vegetable seeds at different time intervals. In addition, he used a control group of seeds that were not exposed to the magnets at all. The seeds were then planted, and after several days, Chen found that the seeds exposed to the magnets grew more rapidly than those not exposed. It's just very obviously they are growing twice, three times faster than uh, those non-exposure ones. And so uh, we have uh, evidence to, to show that uh, uh, some optimal exposure to the magnetic field will grow best. For example, a bean seed exposed to the magnet took just 45 days to germinate, flower, and produce pods, as compared to the 70 to 80 days it normally takes. More research is necessary before determining what causes the accelerated growth, but Chen believes a possible explanation is that the magnet alters the membrane structure of the plant, therefore allowing more water into the seed and encouraging germination. But what could this do for a person in the horticulture business? Our juniper propagation, um, to be able to speed that up a little bit because we have to wait on it a lot of times to root longer than the other material which we could be able to schedule potting it in a different time frame. The accelerated growth rate could also shorten harvest times, in turn alleviating damage caused by early winter frosts. There are also many other areas of agriculture and horticulture that could greatly benefit from the use of magnets. We can look at the fruit industry, we can look at the flower industry, we can look at the vegetable industry, and uh, most of all, probably the uh, herb for medical application, which can be very expensive, very slow growing, such as the uh, ginseng and uh, other, other herbs. So we are very excited. We try to do many experiments. Plans for a magnetically enriched fertilizer are in the works, as well as a magnetic seed mixer to be used before planting. But the use of these magnets may reach well beyond the Earth's limits. An even more interesting application may result in growing vegetables and plants in space. If an uh, astronaut wants to eat a uh, fresh vegetable, uh, because of the space travel, you don't have a uh, gravitational field to assist the plant to have an orientation of the flower growing this way or root growing that way. So in the absence of the gravity, we thought that the magnet can provide a virtual gravity, so to speak, so that uh, you can pull the root growing one side and uh, have a plane growing, uh, the leaf growing another side. Chen is currently writing a proposal to NASA's Center for Microgravity Research, so these magnetic experiments can be further tested. Reporting for Eureka, I'm Erica Ingelson. I was involved in a plant growth experiment conducted on board the Space Shuttle Atlantis in 1992. If exposure to a magnetic field enhances plant growth in space, a benefit might be the practical production of food for 